Ranked number 12 in the Guardian League table of 2018, Coventry <coughs> University achieved a gold rating in the TEF Teaching Excellence Framework, a new British government ranking of how well students are taught across UK universities, published by the Higher Education Funding Council for England. Officials are in Nigeria to meet with prospective students applying for the September 2018 academic year. Hmm. And I was just wondering. So that they've come hunting. Come hunting. <laughs> they're going to open a campus here in Nigeria. All right, so to help us understand what exactly Coventry University is all about and what the open days are about, we have Amit Batnaga, who is the regional manager, Africa, Coventry University. Morning. Thank you for joining us. Beside him is Dr. Uchenna Tony Okeke, a senior lecturer. Morning. Thank you for joining us. Ms. Adora Onyike is a senior lecturer at Coventry University. And Dr. Adekole, Adakole Onjeu, a senior lecturer as well. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you. Okay, now it looks like we have um, a lot of Nigerians teaching at the Coventry University. <laughs> that is correct, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> so how is it that we don't have a Nigerian campus? <laughs> Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully soon, we'll have Nigerian campus. Okay. Uh, but again, I mean, absolutely right. We have great Nigerian academics uh, back in Coventry. We've got a great... Uh, uh, Your gain is our loss. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I would say we are Coventry, back in Coventry. We are upskilling, we're educating uh, the Nigerian students from Nigeria, from across the world, actually. Uh, to uh, be part of the, the, the workforce, the skilled workforce that Nigeria requires, that Nigeria needs. Okay. So you all are not coming back, but your, your, your pupils are studying in Coventry and coming back. Don't be so sure, we might come back. Never know. Let, let, let's start with you. Okay. Tell us about the Coventry University. I work at the London campus, so I'm the course director for one of our MBA courses. It's MBA Global Business. So London campus is located right in the centre of the financial district, which is great. Because we've got like Bloomberg a few minutes away, Bank of England, and our students get to do internships in a lot of very large organisations. So on all of our um, courses, undergrad, postgrad, top of courses, we have internships. And from September 2019, all of our MSc courses will also have internships, but extended internships which will be six months, so students get the opportunity to work for much longer in the UK. So when they, when they come back to, the, to Nigeria, they'll at least have a lot more to give. So that's really great. So we, we have a lot of opportunities in the London campus, as well as the other programs. Does any of them got to be retained by those places where they intern? Oh yeah, it does happen quite a lot. Our uh, Students get offered permanent positions um, a lot. Um, 97% of our graduates, <laughs> you're making me a lot of our graduates actually um, get offered either graduate jobs or they go on to PhDs, and that happens a lot. And, and I should say I was one of those, so I, I did an internship in a company, that's like 10 years ago, in the UK, a company called Workly for Warwickshire, and they, they actually did return me. Uh, but the university wanted me, so I, I chose so to go chose to the university. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Entrepreneurship is currently like um, a major buzz here in Nigeria. But I'm coming back to you to talk about that. Let me come back to you, yeah. who was interned and then chose to go teach. That, um, <laughs> how did it work out for you? Um, it was amazing. So I was uh, I, I studied at Futo, you know, where. Um, so I went for my national service in uh, Nasarawa State last year. So I just came for one of you know the open days, which we're going to announce. Uh, you know some of the contact hours we have today uh, this evening with some prospective students. So I just went to one of those, and I was uh, given an admission there and uh, got a bit of scholarship. So did my uh, one year, which was the best experience I've ever had, because it opened up my mind to some things that you know something you just never think about or you don't really attribute a lot to. But it opens up your mind to how things work, how you can actually make, uh, you know, for the headwind in life. And um, yeah, so I did an internship as part of my uh, studies, which was, you know, fantastic. And at the end, they asked me to come back, uh, but I did a bit of teaching as well. And the, you know, the university wanted me to teach a bit more, and I, I, I chose to teach. Just, I just like to impact people's life. Really. Okay, That's you choose. Right. You made a choice. Talking about making choices, Dr. Unjeong, the uh, entrepreneurship. 
it's a conversation, the buzz in Nigeria. Yes. Indeed, about nine Nigerians have made it to the Forbes 30, top 30 list of young entrepreneurs. Are there courses that could encourage and help build up this kind of... There, there, are, there are courses and entrepreneurship, as you know, is a new radical way of life. I think we call it side hustle in, in this country. <laughs> 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 um, but what it is, what, is it, what we've done at uh, Coventry is to formalize this into a degree. So it's not side hustle anymore, it's main hustle. So the courses we, we have, it's a BA in enterprise and entrepreneurship. Uh, that's an undergraduate uh, degree course. And then at the master's level, We've got an MA in global entrepreneurship. All right, these two courses separately prepare students to overcome some of the risk and uncertainties of launching a business and growing a business. That's what they are designed uh, to do. So uh, we, we've got a particular sort of brand, if you like, of, of entrepreneurship. We call it transformational entrepreneurship. Uh, so it's about creating life-improving products. Uh, so not just any product, but a, a product that's going to make a real change, a real impact.